Ever get the feeling a place just feels different? That's how I felt stepping off the plane in Seoul. Maybe it was the air, the energy, or just the kimchi anticipation, but something felt different, more welcoming. See, Korea gets over 10 million tourists a year. That's a lot of bulgogi to serve. But here's the thing, Koreans aren't just hospitable because it's good for business, it's deeper than that, it's in their DNA. This isn't just about getting your order right or a smile with your soju. This is about jong, a word that doesn't translate easily but embodies the soul of Korean hospitality. Jong, it's more than a word, it's a feeling, a deep sense of connection, warmth, and loyalty. It's about going the extra mile, not because you have to, but because it's the right thing to do. Imagine this, you're at a restaurant and the owner sees you struggling with chopsticks. Next thing you know, they're teaching you, laughing with you, sharing stories. That's Jong, it's about building relationships, not just transactions. It's about treating strangers like family, welcoming them into your home and heart. It's about that human connection that makes travel and life so damn meaningful. Now, some folks might have preconceived notions about Korean culture. They hear Confucianism and think it's all strict rules and formality. And yeah, there's respect for elders, for tradition. But underneath, it's incredibly warm. Western hospitality can sometimes feel transactional, polite, yes, but distant. Jong is different. It's about genuine care and concern for the other person. It's about building a connection that goes beyond the superficial. Take gift giving, for example. In some cultures, it's a formality. In Korea, it's an art form. It's about showing you care, that you put thought into it. It's about strengthening that bond of jong. Section 4 Uniquely Korean Traditions and Service with a Smile This spirit of jong, it permeates everything. Jong is a uniquely Korean concept that embodies warmth, compassion, and a deep sense of connection. It's not just a feeling, it's a way of life that influences every interaction and relationship. From the way shopkeepers greet you with a smile, you can feel the genuine warmth and hospitality. It's not just about business, it's about making a human connection. To the elaborate spreads of banchan, those delightful side dishes that appear magically at your table. Each dish is prepared with care and attention, reflecting the importance of sharing and community in Korean culture. Those side dishes that appear magically at your table. Banchan is more than just food, it's a symbol of generosity and the joy of giving. And don't even get me started on Korean BBQ. It's not just a meal, it's a whole cultural experience. The communal grilling, the sharing of food, the laughter and conversation that flow around the table. It's a whole cultural experience. The communal grilling, the sharing of food, the laughter and conversation. It's a time when friends and family come together, creating memories and strengthening bonds. It's jong in action, bringing people together through the simple act of sharing a meal. The act of eating together is a powerful way to connect, to share stories, and to build relationships. Even customer service has that jong touch. In Korea, customer service is not just about efficiency, it's about making you feel valued and cared for. It's not uncommon for shopkeepers to go above and beyond, offering help, advice, or even just a friendly chat. They take pride in their work and in making sure you have a positive experience, offering help, advice, or even just a friendly chat. They're not just trying to sell you something, they're trying to connect with you on a personal level, or even just a friendly chat. These interactions are filled with warmth and sincerity, making you feel like more than just a customer. They're not just trying to sell you something, they're trying to connect with you. This personal touch is what makes shopping in Korea such a unique and enjoyable experience. They're trying to connect with you. It's this spirit of jong that makes every interaction special, whether you're sharing a meal, shopping, or simply enjoying the company of others. It's a reminder that at the heart of Korean culture is a deep sense of community and connection. Section 5. A Personal Taste of Jong My Soul Food Story I'll never forget this one time late at night in Seoul. The city was alive with neon lights casting a vibrant glow on the streets. The air was filled with the hum of late-night activity, a mix of laughter, chatter, and the occasional honk of a car horn. Starving, jet-lagged, and feeling a bit lost, I wandered the streets aimlessly. My stomach growled, reminding me that I hadn't eaten in hours. The street food stalls were tempting, but I craved something more comforting, something that felt like home. That's when I stumbled upon this tiny little hole-in-the-wall restaurant. It was tucked away in a narrow alley, almost hidden from view. Inside, an Ajuma and her son were busy cooking and serving food. The place was small, with just a few tables, but it had a warm, inviting atmosphere. They didn't speak much English and I spoke even less Korean. It was a challenge to communicate but we managed with a few gestures and a lot of smiles. 
The Ajuma's eyes sparkled with kindness and her son's laughter was infectious. With a few gestures, a lot of smiles and that universal language of food, we communicated, they understood my hunger and my need for comfort. It was amazing how much could be said without words, just through the simple act of sharing a meal. They fed me like I was family, plying me with dish after dish of the most incredible home-cooked food I'd ever tasted. Each dish was a revelation, bursting with flavors that were both familiar and new. There was kimchi, bulgogi, and a steaming bowl of donjang jjigae that warmed me from the inside out. That, my friends, was jong. It's a Korean concept that's hard to translate, but it's all about the deep emotional bond and warmth shared between people. It's about caring for others, even strangers, as if they were your own family. It wasn't just about the food, though it was damn good. It was about the feeling of being welcomed, of being cared for, of finding a connection in a foreign land. It was about the warmth that filled the room, the laughter that echoed off the walls and the smiles that were shared across the table. It was about that feeling of warmth, of welcome, of human connection that transcended language and culture. In that tiny restaurant, I found a piece of home thousands of miles away from where I was born. And that, my friends, is the magic of Jong, the magic of soul, and the magic of food. Section 6. The Human Touch, Where Culture Meets Connection. Jong. It's the heart and soul of Korean hospitality. This unique concept is deeply embedded in the Korean way of life transcending mere words to become a feeling, an experience, and a way of connecting with others. It's that intangible something that makes you feel welcome, cared for, and connected. Zhang is not just about being friendly, it's about creating a bond that goes beyond the surface, a bond that is felt deeply and sincerely. It's about tradition, respect, and genuine human connection. In Korea, traditions are not just rituals, they are a way of showing respect and building relationships. Whether it's through a tea ceremony or teaching customs to the younger generation, these practices are imbued with jong. It's about understanding that we're all in this together, that a little kindness goes a long way, and that sometimes, the best travel experiences are the ones that touch our hearts as much as our stomachs. When you share a meal with someone, you're not just sharing food, you're sharing a part of yourself, your culture, and your jong. So next time you're in Korea, open yourself up to jong. Don't just be a visitor, be a participant in the culture. Engage with the locals, learn their stories, and share your own. Embrace the warmth, the generosity, the genuine desire to connect. When you do, you'll find that jong is not just a part of Korean culture, it becomes a part of your own experience, enriching your journey in ways you never imagined. You might be surprised at how much it enriches your experience, the memories you create, the friendships you form, and the understanding you gain will stay with you long after you've left. Jong is the essence of Korean hospitality, and it's waiting for you to discover it. Section 7. Share your story. What's your Jong experience? Have you ever experienced the warmth of Korean hospitality? Share your stories in the comments below. I'd love to hear about your encounters with Jong and how it impacted your travels. And hey, while you're here, check out my other piece on the fascinating world of Korean drinking culture. You'll be surprised by the customs and traditions surrounding this social lubricant.